Hey guys, Channel Lego Moore here for another Lego Marvel Super Heroes set review. This is the Black Panther set. Set number is 76099. This is the Rhino Face Off by the Mine. It has three minifigures, 229 pieces, and it retails for $20 here in the United States. It got this at the Lego store. So here's the packaging of the set you can see. Very cool design. I even like the new Marvel design there. And you can see the other side of the box. And. We also get two instruction manuals. One is to build the Rhino, and one is to build the mine track itself. So you get two instruction manuals, and there's an ad for the other Black Panther set in there as well. So nothing for Infinity War, unfortunately. So let's look at the minifigures, and we'll start off with, of course, Black Panther himself. This version is exclusive. You can see he has the bit of the blue on him as well. None of the minifigures have leg printing either. But you can see the back print on the torso and the head look really good. I really like the blue glow he has. <clears throat> and uh, this version is exclusive again. So there is Black Panther. And then we have our another exclusive character. This is Okio. And this character is completely exclusive to the set. You can see the printing on her looks great. Love that face print. That's going to be very useful. She has a spear as her accessory. And the torso has some nice printing to it on the front. And you can see the back of it. So there's Okio. And then our last figure we have is Killmonger. And this guy, this version is exclusive. We got one with that really cool mask in the, um, the Talon set. This one has the Jaguar design, which, look, which looks really good with the pearl gold. Or just the gold in general. Looks really cool. He does have the same headpiece as Black Panther. There is no printing on the headpiece. Unlike the Civil War version. So we get two uh, builds in this set. We have this little Rhino vehicle. And then we have the uh, mine track here. Um, so the mine build is pretty small. We could see here. Um, which I'll remove the mine cart. In a second. You can see the design of it looks really cool. Um, you do get two straight track pieces which are the newer roller coaster type pieces and is a cheap way to get these pieces you have some nice trans blue slopes throughout as well and some dark blue then you also have the mine cart which has the verbanum i think it's what it's called which are these trans uh, blue light blue one by two plates and they fit right in there and you can see the build of it is pretty cool i like the build of the uh the mine cart it uses the uh, armor piece from the Nexo Knights um, armor, the uh, battle suit armor. He's, yeah, the battle suits. And what's really cool is you can move around on here the minecart. So the function is you push this right here down and you put the minecart there. And what you do is you push this down and you're supposed to make the minecart explode. So that's pretty cool. Nice little play function there. And again, just a nice little build. I like the build of it, uh, for sure. I think it's a very unique build, and there are some great pieces to it. So let's look at the Rhino Mech itself. So you can see the Rhino Mech is very interesting. It looks kind of like organic-like in a way. Um, it's very different from what we saw uh, from the Rhino Tribe in the Legends of Chima theme from years past. You can see the legs are the same mold as the Lugabeast from the Encounter on Jakku set from Star Wars back in 2016. You have a little tail here in the back. You have some sticker designs for uh, the printing on, or it's really stickers for the designs on the Rhino Mech. You could sit a minifigure on there, which in this case we could put uh, Okio right on there. And she fits right in there. Very good. So you can easily put her in there, just like so. You have some stud shooters on each side, which you can fire off. And you can also pose the legs in pretty good ways. Um, can't move them 360, but you can pose it in many good ways on each side. You can move it around. You can also move the head. It's on a um, a bit of a... Um, you can turn the head a bit. You can move it up and down a bit. So there's some good, um, you know, like living slash organic design. Like it looks like realistic in some ways. You also have the uh, corner tile pieces throughout. You got more stickers there. The head looks really good. Like the Rhino kind of looks bulky there. 
Um, this is probably the weakest part. I think the design of it is just not as good. It looks very square compared to the rest of the uh, Rhino. But yeah, really interesting design and something we really haven't seen done with Lego. So I do like the uh, uniqueness it has in a way too. So that is pretty much it for the Rhino Face-Off by the Mind. So for $20, I have to say this is a great set, honestly. You get a nice little Rhino mech, which feels kind of organic in some aspects, and it's very different from Chima. Again, I like the um, the cheap way to get the uh, roller coaster track pieces, and also I like the minecart design too. It's pretty interesting and unique as well, and something different we really haven't gotten. And the minifigures are exclusive too. The Okio minifigure is great and very useful, along with Black Panther, which that version is exclusive, and Killmonger itself is very good. So I do recommend it. And Many ways. It's a great set, honestly, and I do recommend it. It's worth your $20. So let me guys know what you think down below in the comments about this set, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.